Tonight, a dirty little secret about landlords and how they can use a widely circulated blacklist to try to deny prospective tenants an apartment in New York City. The information comes from the housing court cases, but critics say it is woefully incomplete information. Now, a proposal to regulate this blacklist. Here's Iowa News reporter Carolina Lead. Real estate agents will say to me, you know, we'd really like to help you, but the landlord really isn't going to take you. Margo Lumineer Miller says she figured she could easily get an apartment because of her solid credit score. She had no idea a dispute with her landlord put her on what many call the blacklist. Tenant screening databases that list people who have been sued by landlords. But some argue it doesn't tell the whole story. The ceilings were open. I had the gas line cut with gas leaking into my apartment, yes. And then I never had gas um, functioning until I was out of there. And I finally went into a stipulation to give up the apartment because I really feared for my, my safety. Miller's experience shows up as an eviction, despite the fact that she says she settled with her landlord. A lot of people end up in housing court where, as a tenant, they're in the right. Sometimes you withheld rent because the conditions were horrible. Sometimes you had to take your landlord to court, but then you end up on this blacklist where you can't rent another apartment. Councilman Ben Kalos is pushing for new legislation that would regulate the industry by giving consumers a chance to dispute inaccurate and incomplete reports. What this legislation would change is that they'd actually have to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about uh, whether or not you won the case, what happened, who was involved, so that landlords can actually make a better decision. Miller says she fought this for three long years. She's staying in temporary housing. All she wants is for landlords to get all the information they need to make a fair decision. In Hamilton Heights, I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.